G'day and welcome back to OzMTG. I'm Tim and today I'm here with one of the universes beyond Doctor Who products. This is Paradox Power. So we have Doctors 12 to 13 in here. I've already done the first few um, and we're getting through this. So far they've been really, really good decks. We've had uh, Historic Tribal, we've had Time Counter Tribal. So we'll crack this open and see what this one comes in at. So, so far my impressions have been really good on these. They've been quite well constructed. Uh, quite well printed and yeah very very interesting sort of set unique mechanics across each one so we have the inside here we've got our little black envelope the black envelope has our collector booster sampler pack and our planes because it is plane chase chase product we have our deck box here with the art of the commanders on here or the uh, time lords and then we have the main deck spin down life counter with uh, cool artwork a little bit of junk card in here you've got your little hidden planes chase dice which is exactly the same as all the other ones but they're still quite pretty quite nice not very plain something a little unique which is cool um, we'll first start off with the planes and see what we've got in here uh, so far they've all been unique cards which is really nice so you'll be able to put Together a half decent little plane chase deck that's quite thematic with it so the, we have the doctor's childhood barn storm cage containment facility we have the drum mining facility singing towers we have a fixed point in time besieged viking village north pole research base temple kablam warehouse and the dining car so cool little interesting planes if you like to planes chase uh, personally um, it seems to make the game run a bit too long it can make it pretty random but yeah it always feels like it takes a little too long in the games so this is our collector booster sampler pack we'll have a look what we get oh the eighth doctor in borderless is an interesting one and oh canyon slough um, cycling land with uh, some cool doctor who art on that interesting to see that you can get the lands in there so this is the main deck and the face commander is the 13th doctor so what does she want to do uh, whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand put a plus one plus one on target creature so it feels like a cascade sort of deck or play spells from exile then we have team tardis so at the beginning of your end step untap each creature you control with a counter on it Okay, so it gives them like a pseudo vigilance effect, which is really quite nice. Let's see what we have as the partner for this. Uh, so this is the Doctor's Companion. It's Yasmin Khan, four mana for a 3-3. Three, three. You can tap it to exile the top card of your library until your next end step you may play it. So a very like prosper the tone bound sort of style. Okay, so we have Psychic Paper. Um, can't be blocked I guess that's probably the thing that they're going with it's really not very synergistic um, the TARDIS is really good because it gives you cascade that can work really well sonic screwdriver uh, yeah not too bad not too great though uh, then we have start the TARDIS so surveil to and then draw a card then you make planes walk jump start okay so you can cast it from your graveyard um, by discarding your card and then you exile it so that's what you're trying to go for the jump start ability the planes walk not as impactful in commander unless you are playing specifically that surge of brilliance draw a card for each spell you've cast this turn from anywhere other than your hand so it could be interesting with flashbacks or cascade effects uh, and then it's got foretell as well so they're getting a bit of everything in there uh, araxa empress of mars alien warrior trample 5-4 with battle cry pretty cool Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, create a 2-2 red alien warrior creature token. So kind of like that uh, red-green lady that was making cats when you cast or play cards from exiles. Then we've got memory worm. It's a 1-1 alien worm, which is pretty cool. Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, this deals 2 damage to target player. Then that player discards a card, then draws a card, and you put a plus one, plus one on memory worm. So interesting uh has some synergy which is pretty cool but weird sort of card to have then we've got decaying time loop for mana discard all the cards in your hand then draw that many uh you've got a retrace on it so you can 
cast it from your graveyard by discarding a land card in addition to paying its other costs. So, yeah, not too bad. Four mana to wheel your own hand is not impressive, so I would probably look at putting a better version in there. Um, this Witness is an alien cleric that flashes for two mana. It's a 0-4. Whenever another creature dies, if it was attacking or blocking alone, exile it and investigate. Interesting. Uh, doesn't really work with the deck that much, but not too bad. Truth or Consequence for four. Each player secretly votes truth or consequences, and then those votes are revealed. Draw a card. Uh, draw cards equal to the number of truth votes, and then choose an opponent at random. Uh, truth or consequences deal three damage to that player for each consequence vote. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's a, a interesting voting card that allows you to get something from every single vote, which we haven't had a lot of, so that's really quite nice. Um, doesn't work with the commanders in this deck, but cool card. I like it. Interesting. Bigger on the inside. That's, that's nice. Although... It uh, should be blue, but yeah, not too bad. Five mana, enchantment artifact, enchant artifact or land, enchanted permanent has tap, target player adds two mana of any one color. The next spell they cast this turn has cascade. So yeah, that cascade is what you're looking for and you can put it on an artifact, which is not too bad. So if you put it on a clue or something that you don't really want to get rid of, uh, you could get some good value out of this and not lose the land if you had to enchant it onto that. Uh, Reckon Rebuild for three mana, choose one, destroy target artifact or enchantment, or mill five cards and you may put a land card from your graveyard onto the battlefield tapped. Ooh, that's a cool effect. And then it's got flashback for five, which is expensive, but the flashback can trigger your commander, which is good. Um, we've got the mana package, so we've got Arcane Signet, we've got the Soul Ring, uh, we've got Ponder, which is it's a good card by itself, but with this you're not playing it from exile, so... Eh. Uh, think twice. Old card has flashback. That works. Preordain. It's like a spell slinger they've kind of gone with. Throws of Chaos. You've got Cascade and Retrace on it, which is really good for you. Cultivate's just great for lands. Uh, search for Tomorrow. The suspendability is what you want it for. Uh, sometimes it can be hard, though, having your commander on the table when it goes off as well. Then we've got Danny Pink. Uh, mentor. Creatures you control have when one or more counters are put on that creature for the first time each turn draw a card wow that's strong that is really strong could be put in a lot of decks was well, good operation double so four mana when you cast a spell create a token that's a copy of it except it isn't legendary so you get two of them so two two twos for four and tap uh add a colorless spend this mana only to cast an artifact spell or activate an ability of an artifact and whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, investigate. So you're getting two triggers of that, which is pretty cool. Um, the tap ability's not too bad, but yeah, the the getting the, the clues investigates. Uh, we've seen twice upon a time. Good because it's an adventure. Become the pilot. Uh, five mana enchant non-commander creature. You control enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and can't be blocked unless it's attacking its owner or a permanent, its owner controls. Wow, pretty cool way to steal people's stuff and give it unblockable. Then we've got Quantum Misalignment for five. Create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, except it isn't legendary, and rebound. So the rebound's quite nice. Um, the token part wouldn't be too bad for the actual first deck, uh, which creates tokens. Nardole Resourceful Cyborg for two mana, it's a one, two. You tap it to add a blue for each counter on it. Uh, spend this mana only to cast non-creature spells, so spell slinger-ish. Uh, then it's got undying, so when it dies, it comes back with a plus one, plus one. So, yeah, you've got to put counters on it. I guess the commander can put plus one, plus ones on a creature. So, yeah, you could get a bit of mana out of that, um, but only to cast instants and sorcery. So, weird way to get around it, but can work. I like this card, Flatline, three mana, creatures your opponent's control have base power and toughness, zero, one until the end of the turn. So really, really easy way to kill a lot of people's creatures when they're attacking. Um, having that instant is three mana, so it's a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones, um, but it's a nice way to sort of fog combat as well. Then we have Bill Potts, uh, legendary human creature. Whenever you cast an insult or sorcery, that targets only Bill. Uh, or an activated ability that targets him, copy that spell, you may choose new triggers. 
So yeah, it is that kind of weird sort of spell slinger-ish thing. Um, yeah, weird. I don't know about this deck. Uh, into the Time Vortex, 5 mana to Cascade and Rebound, very much like uh, Throws of Chaos, but a little bit more expensive, but still cascading as well. You're guaranteed to cast a spell. Really handy, really good to trigger your commander. Dan Lewis, uh, 2 mana for 2-2. Two, two. Non-creature, non-equipment artifacts you control are equipment in addition to the other types and get equipped creature gets plus 1, plus 0 and equip 1. Uh, weird in this deck. Uh, but I've seen this effect before on other cards, and it can be very good. I think it's called March of the Machine. It was a red one, enchantment. Um, so yeah, in an equipment deck or an artifact heavy deck, it could be better. This one it doesn't really make that much sense. Uh, Flaming Tyrannosaurus is really cool. 7 mana for a 5-5 five, five menace. When you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, it deals 3 damage to any target, and then you put a plus 1 plus 1 on it. When it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. So yeah, just having that alone as a crazy dinosaur um, that cares about casting spells from anywhere else, I'd put it in a Prosper deck. It would work well in this deck as well, considering what it wants to do. Uh, Ryan Sinclair, when it attacks, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. You may cast it without paying its mana cost uh, if its value is less than or equal to his power. Uh, so yeah, it gives you a few ways to try to dig for some more cards to cast. Uh, Return from the past. So that was a, there was a sorcery that did this and had flashback. Um, but this is an enchantment, so as long as it's your turn, each instant and sorcery in your graveyard has flashback, flashback is equal to its mana cost. So this is definitely geared more towards the spell slinger. So a lot of these creatures that do weird things like this Dan, I would definitely pull out and put a lot more spell slinger synergy in it, which is why I understand they've done ponder and preordain, but it'd be nice to have more flashback or rebound or something like that in that same slot, because you still want to be able to trigger that ability. Then we've got impending flux, it's two and a red, it deals X damage to each opponent and each creature they control where X is one plus the number of spells you've cast from anywhere other than your hand this turn and you can foretell it so it'll trigger itself so it's two technically if you've foretold it. Yeah, cool, interesting. Because um, it's each opponent and each creature so it's one-sided so it's nice in that aspect. Um, especially you can flash back a few different ones and still hit people for some good damage. I like it, interesting card. The Flux, 4 mana, it deals 4 damage to target creature and opponent controls, and then a lot of exile the top card of your library, you can play it this turn, and then eventually add 6 mana. Uh, yeah, you'll need that in this deck, and also it's got her on it, so why not? We've got Sisterhood of Khan, uh, 2 mana for a 0-0, zero, zero, but it enters the battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 on it, and then whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, double the number of plus 1 plus 1, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 so on so on. Um, yeah, it could go really crazy and wild. Um, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't put Trample on it. I think that could be a really, really cool, interesting creature if it had Trample. I think it's still it's still pretty well costed for this deck, so not too bad. Graham O'Brien, 2 mana for a 2-2. Two, two. Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand, create a food token. Yeah, not too bad. Get a little food synergy happening in there, a bit of healing, so you can do your adventures and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, adventure, humans you control gain indestructible until your next turn. And then it's the Vigilance Trample Haste, and when it attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter on each human you control. So a lot of human synergy. Um, there's a lot of humans here, because there's a lot of sort of doctors and companions that are humans as well. So not too bad, has the adventure, so it triggers your commander, which is good too. Then we have the Foretold Soldier, so it's a uh, four mana, alien zombie soldier, it must be blocked if able to, can't be blocked by more than one creature, and when it deals damage, you exile it face down, it becomes foretold, and then you could foretell it. Wow. Um, yeah, interesting mechanic. Uh, yeah, by one, so you can choose to attack the right person with this, and then foretell it to trigger your, your commander. Uh, yeah, I think it'd work alright in this deck. Uh, Fugitive of Jadoon, 
So it's five mana, you create a 1-1 human creature token with ward two and a 4-4 white alien runner creature token, you investigate and then you may exile a human you control and an artifact you control. If you do, search your library for a doctor, put it onto the battlefield and shuffle. So you're cheering for a doctor, but it doesn't have any way to use your doctor's ability. So then we've got River Song, which is three mana. You draw cards from the bottom of your library rather than the top. And whenever an opponent scries, surveils, or searches their library, put a plus one plus on a river song. Then river song deals damage equal to that, uh, equal to its pl- power to that player. Um, so cool commander. I think river song is going to get a fair few decks made around her. Madame Vestra. So lizard detective partners with Jenny Flint. Uh, must be blocked if able to. And whenever a creature dealt damage by Madame Vastra dies this turn, you create a clue token and a food token, which is pretty nice. Then you've got Jenny Flint, the partner. So training, whenever this creature attacks with another cre- creature with greater power, put a plus one plus one on this creature. And then when you sack a, a clue or a food, put a plus one plus on another target creature you control. So cool little synergy there. Um, doesn't have that like casting from exile, but still pretty cool in the deck. Then we've got Strax. Uh, so Vigilance Trample 5-5 five, five for 5 is pretty decent to begin with. Then it's got Grenades, two, tap, sacrifice an artifact. Choose a player at random. When you do, Strax fights another target creature that player controls. So scary, because you can hit your own stuff. He could hit himself. Um, but whenever he deals damage, deals damage to a creature, put a plus one, plus one on him. So yeah, interesting, cool, different, random, which I kind of like in some decks, uh, but doesn't really work with the commanders of this deck. The 12th Doctor. The first spell you cast from anywhere other than your hand each turn has demonstrate. So when you cast that spell, you may copy it, choose an opponent. They also get a copy of it. So it's quite decent. And then whenever you copy a spell, put a plus on plus on on the 12th Doctor. You can make a really cool copy deck around him um, to punch people really hard. But yeah, in the deck, definitely wants to lend to playing cards from Exile. So I think you dip a bit deeper into the red cycle and get some nicer stuff. Then we've got the Fugitive Doctor. When it's the battlefield, investigate. Whenever it t- attacks, you may sack a clue. When you do target instant or sorcery card in your gra- graveyard, gain its flashback uh, four mana until the end of the turn. So I could see some cool wheel synergy with some insanely high-costed uh, spells with this commander. So I think a deck around her would be great. In this deck, it kind of works. Um, yeah, not too bad. We've got me the immortal for five human rogue, cool creature types. The beginning of combat on your turn, put a choice of a plus one, first strike, vigilance, menace, counter on me the immortal. Counters remain on me as it moves from any other zone other than the player's hand or library. You may cast me from your graveyard from discarding two cards rather than paying its mana cost. So me could be a really good commander, um, kind of like Skullbriar, but with its own little effects. Uh, yeah, I mean, you just go your first strike, vigilance, menace, and then just add plus ones on the top of it after that, basically. Frost Fair Lurefish, a weird card for seven mana. When it's a battlefield, you create two tap, uh, two blue fish one ones tapped, uh, oh, and two tapped tre- treasure tokens, sorry. And fishes you control have haste and can't be blocked by humans. So against a lot of humans synergy, it's not too bad. Fish Tribal, uh, it could be a really good card in a Fish Tribal eventually when that happens. Then we've got Lunar Hatchling, Alien Beast, it's a Flying Trample, it's got Basic Land Cycle 2, which is pretty cool. Uh, Then you can Escape, which is the main part for this. So yeah, pretty decent way to be able to reuse it uh, and cycle out for some more lands. Heaven Sent, you investigate twice and then it deals damage, one damage to each opponent and then if opponent has zero left, less life draw a card otherwise exile it and you may cast it this turn so basically you're just investigating and then recasting it to trigger your commander then we've got last night together choose two creatures untap them put two plus one plus ones on them they gain vigilance indestructible and haste until the end of the turn after this main phase there's an additional combat phase uh, only the chosen creatures can attack during that phase so really really good in any kind of green red stompy deck um, the vigilance and indestructibles just bonkers and then getting the extra combat step is really solid that's going to be a really good card river song's diary for three whenever a player casts an insult sorcery spell from the hand exile it instead of putting it into a graveyard so it's kind of like a delthy void walker um, 
Then we've got at the beginning of upkeep, if there are four more cards exiled with it, choose one at random, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. So really cool for a spell slinger deck. Um, really good to be able to exile other people's cards as well. Then we've got Confession Dial. When it enters the battlefield, you surveil three, and then tap it, target legendary creature in your graveyard, gains escape until the end of the turn. The escape cost is equal to its mana cost plus exile three other cards. Really good. Uh, legendary creature matters deck, you'd even pull that out and put it into. Then we've got Clara Oswald, uh, six mana. If she's your commander, choose color before the game begins. She is the chosen color. If a triggered ability of a doctor you control triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting that you can, kind of like a Pied Piper, but not overly good. I mean, the double doc trigger could be really good if you find the right doctor. Uh, and it would be interesting to see if the color identity is actually as you build the deck, uh, if that counts then. Um, because yeah, I'm guessing the rules text is probably is routed to something like that. We've got Chaos Swap, which everyone knows, Cursed Mirror, Carpet of Flowers, amazing reprint. Amazing, amazing, amazing. These should go in pretty much every green deck. And then we're into the land cycle which is really nice. We've seen this in pretty much all the other ones. Oh, look at that. Hello, sweetie. Nice. Um, happy with these, very happy with these. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. Gall Gallifrey Council Chamber. Okay, so we've got some mana ramp here. So we've got Cultivate, Search for Tomorrow, Far Seek, Beast Within. I love the art of Beast Within. Growth Spiral's pretty cool. Talismans. Rogue's Passage, Frontier Bivouac, Reliquary Terra. Wow, that artwork's so cool. Mirrored Landscape, Temple, Path of Ancestry, Command Tower, uh, Ominous Cemetery, and then the Basic Lands. So yeah, all in all, not a bad deck. Uh, probably not as well built as the other decks. They're definitely trying to go that Prosper but slash Spell Slinger, and then they threw in a whole of legendary creatures which don't... Which don't perfectly synergize with the deck um, but they're not too bad I would definitely cut a lot of those guys out I would put a lot more uh, spell synergy in there and ways to play from exile if possible uh, especially cascade cascade is such a good value um, in commander I think that's the way to go with this deck so yeah not stronger than the other decks some good reprints in there which is nice to see and all in all an okay playable pre-con so what do you think about this deck? Let us know in the comments and we'll catch you on the next one.